Hey, I'm Tech, and let's get some things out of the way first. Changing your FPS cap is not going to make your computer run any faster or magically boost your frame rate. However, even on an OK gaming PC, chances are you're leaving some performance on the table when you're playing a game like Roblox. Let's let's be real. Now, let's just get right to it. I can just open up a web browser here and search up Blockstrap. And the first result should be this GitHub page right here. Now what Blockstrap is, it's pretty much just an alternative launcher for the Roblox client. You're not hacking or exploiting or anything. It doesn't actually touch the client itself. The really cool thing about Blockstrap is that it can do a whole lot more than just increase or remove your FPS cap, which is why I use it over FPS Unlocker. Note that there's this nice disclaimer here saying that Blockstrap is only supported on Windows computers, so uh, rip to any console players, Mac players, etc., etc. Now to download Blockstrap, you can just click on this hyperlink and then download the exe from here. Just save that and run it. That'll install Blockstrap for you. Or you can just open up command prompt and copy that command that I just copied. Paste it into command prompt to run it. That'll also do the same thing. It doesn't really matter. I prefer command prompt, but you do you. Either way, once you get it installed, you should be able to just search up the Blockstrap menu and run it. And if we go to the Fast Flags tab here, we get a whole bunch of options, including frame rate limit. Now I have mine already set at 144 to match my primary monitor here, but you can choose any you want. You can you can just stick to 60 if you want, I guess, or you know you can just uncap your frame rate by putting a really large number. But I just like having a nice consistent 144 to be honest. Now there's a bunch of other options you can mess with. For example, if we go into the mods tab, we can just bring back the old def sound, old character sounds, disabled desktop app, thank God. Or if we go back into fast flags here, we can literally toggle the lighting that's used in game, which is pretty crazy. I didn't even know you could change that manually. That's something. Yeah, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff, but those are really just the cherries on top, as you may. And once you're done, you can just click save and open up a game. Now, just as an example, I'll open up Trio OS, which is a game that really benefits from having a high frame rate and thus lower input latency, especially when you're playing levels that require a lot of precision. Uh, Flood Escape 2, JTO, same thing. Now, we'll just click play. And as you can see, Blockstrap is launching a game instead of the normal Roblox launcher. And as you can see, I accidentally toggled feature lighting. I did not mean to do that. Let me just toggle that back. And just like this, you can toggle the lighting. So yeah, you can kind of just mess around with this. And we're back. Now, if you want to see your FPS counter, you can just press Shift F5. And as you can see in the corner, it says 144, what's kind of fluctuating, but it's 144 FPS. Now, results may vary depending on your rig. And even I'm not always maxing out my FPS cap, you know, depending on what map I'm playing in this game. So we've unlocked our FPS, but you might notice that your game looks and feels a little choppy still when you're moving around, especially if you're in windowed mode or even if you're just in the default Roblox full screen mode by pressing F11. Now, let me just show you guys a trick here. This is actually also thanks to Blockstrap. Just press Alt Enter. You might have noticed that in the Blockstrap menu earlier. And what you've essentially done is toggle exclusive full screen, which is pretty much just true full screen. And hopefully after you press Alt Enter, you should notice that inputs feel a lot smoother and the game actually looks like it's running at a high frame rate. And that's pretty much it. Now I know that Roblox is actually starting to roll out a higher FPS cap to some players, but I hope they're a little faster about that because I know that a lot of people will be grateful for it. But hey, it's nice that we're able to do it ourselves anyways. Yeah, that's pretty much it. See ya.